Hi, I'm Joe Fianso, the head photographer of Focal Point Studios. My main body is this Pentax K5 here. It has a 16 million pixel CMOS sensor and it also has an image stabilization system built into the camera body itself. So whatever lens, whichever lens I put into the camera, I don't need to worry about too much, uh, too much about the camera shake. Um, it also has the weather sealing system, so when I'm shooting on location, I don't need to worry about um, dust or rain gets inside the camera. And I do also have a Pentax K20D, which works as a backup body to my K5. It virtually does the same thing, um, however this has a less megapixel count than the K5. And I do sometimes shoot with this little Fujifilm X100 here. Um, it has a 23mm f2 lens attached to it. Um, can't really change the lens on this camera, however it does produce fantastic image quality on this camera. I also use a Canon 5D Mark II body, uh, which is currently being used to shoot uh, this video. Um, I normally use that body for my video work, as well as high-end fashion work. I mainly use that body with, uh, with the Canon 24-70 f2.8 lens, which is a fantastic lens, and it produces very crisp, sharp image, as well as um, nice bokeh. I use many different lenses, some of them are zoom lenses and some of them are prime lenses. Let's start with the zoom lenses. This is the widest angle that I have, which is a Sigma 10 to 20 f4 to 5.6. This is not the fastest lens, however, uh, for landscape work, wide angle landscape work, you don't really need the super uh, fast lens. I do also use this 18 to 50 f2.8 lens. This is mainly being used in, a, in the in studio because the focal length which is right for the crop sensor and I, for outdoor I do use this pen test 50 to 135mm f2.8 this is a fantastic lens and it, um, it can really separate the subject and the background really well and for in terms of prime lenses um, I do have a pen test um, 31mm f1.8 um, It's a very fast lens and it produces really fantastic bokeh this one here The next lens would be the 50mm f1.4 Really really fast lens um, Again this one I use it for portrait work as well as sometimes I do, it, uh, do my street photography with it uh, when I don't want to get too close to the subject, to disturb the subject. And next, I do have a Pantest 77mm f1.8. And other portrait lens, it depends on the perspective that I want to achieve in the photo. Um, if I want the subject to be really separate from the, from the background itself, then I would choose to shoot with this lens. Finally, I do have a Pentax 100mm f2.8, which is a macro lens. I mainly use this for my product work. Um, I, you can really see fine detail with this lens. Um, for example, if you want to take uh, a picture of a watch or a jewelry, then you can so really fine detail of the, each element of the product itself. For location shoot, normally I bring three flash guns with me. My main flash gun is this Pentax AF540 here, and I also bring um, two of these smaller flash guns, which are the AF360. Um, sometimes when I'm shooting events or wedding, I do use these flash guns just to pop, pop on top of my camera posture here and use it like this. Um, however, I do prefer to shoot um, with off-camera flash, so the solution is I bring one of these triggers as well as uh, one of these receivers on the flash guns. I, what you do, pop these triggers on top of the camera and then I can place the lights wherever I want to achieve different lighting effects. 
just to show you guys how it works. Very simple. Fantastic. For stadium work, I use the Bowen Lightning System. They are very reliable. I have one Bowen 500 Gemini and two 400 Gemini's here. For the 500, I attach this with the large softbox. So you put this in large light source and it doesn't create any hard shadow to the subject. I also use this beauty dish here as a key light and it produces really high contrast to the subject and it's very good for beauty shot. As well as this beauty, beauty dish, I can also attach one of these diffuser here. So you can add as a second soft box. When I don't want soft lighting, I can attach the beauty dish with one of these honeycomb here. Just like this, it creates hard shadow for a moody lighting effect. And finally, I use one of these spill cube uh, as a background light using one of these different color gels. And it can also work as a hair light as well. And if I want softer backlighting, I can always attach an umbrella to one of these mount here. So, just like this. I do sometimes use a refractor just like this. It has, it, this is a two side refractor. One side is gold, one side is silver. So if I want warmer tones for the skin tones, then I can use, always use the warmer side. And for location shoot, sometimes you want a cool day effect, then you can always choose to use the silver side. Thank you for watching my video guys, and I hope to see you at Focal Point Studio soon.